Hello, Pembok guides my Alex. It's Charlie again, and I'm rather unimpressed at your inability to answer simple earned value problems, as evidenced by your inability to respond appropriately to my charge. Now, it's no use getting all mad at me. I'm only trying to help. <laughs> now, let's take a look at this graph. I would like you to answer all the questions that I ask you by giving me two options out of A, B, C, D, E, or F. Are you ready? Let's go. Point M in the earned value graph possesses two answers. Can you tell me what those two answers are, taking a look at options A through F? What is the state of the project? Take a scratch paper and write it down. If you think for point M, it's A and B, then write A and B. If you think it's A and E, write A and E. If you think it's B and C, then do just that. And at the end, I'll tell you what the answers are. Ha! <laughs> That's if you still stick around to watch the rest of this video, because I guess I'm quite aggravating to you. Ha! <laughs> ha! All right. Let's move on, please, to point X. Now, I'm sure you already know that the y-axis is cost and the x-axis is what? Time. Uh, so, point X in time, what is the state of the project? Choose two options and write them down on your piece of scratch paper. All right, time up. Let's move to the next one. The next one is point Z. Or, as lots of you Americans call it, point Z. <laughs> At point Z, what is the state of the project? Have you chosen your two options? Good, let's move on. The next question is at point R. At point R, what is the state of the project? Hmm? Pembok guides one Alex. Are you having lots of fun now? At point R, what is the state of the project? Time up. Let's move on to point Y. At point Y, what is the state of the project? All done? Good. Now let's talk about these points one by one. I'll give you the answers. Are you ready? At point M, you can see the earned value line is below the planned value line and the actual cost line, which is unfavorable for both time and cost. Or for you sixth edition purists, for both schedule and cost. <laughs> so the answer for point M is A, over budget, and F, behind schedule. Let's talk about our next question here. Point X. At point X, you can see that the earned value line is above both the actual cost line and the planned value line. So, earned value is in a favorable position. For that reason, we choose both of the favorable options. You're under budget, and you're ahead of schedule. So which options did you choose? Because I'm hoping you chose option B and option D. Under budget and ahead of schedule for point X. Is that what you chose? I hope it is. Let's move on to point 
Z, or Z, as you call it. <laughs> Point Z. As you can see, the PV line and the EV line are smack dab on top of each other. For that reason, we can say that earn value is equal to plant value, which means SPI is 1 and SV is 0. And what does that tell you? In terms of schedule, you are on schedule. Option C. <laughs> and as far as cost, because the earn value line is under the actual cost line, you're over budget. Let's go to our next point, point R. At point R, earn value and actual cost are aligned. And what that means is earn value is equal to actual cost. So the CPI is 1 and the cost variance is 0. In terms of the schedule, the earn value is above the plan value line. So that means you're getting more done within the time period. For that reason, we can say at point R, you are on budget and you are ahead of schedule. Option D. And final point is point Y. All right, Pembok Guide Smart Alex, you should know what point Y is, even if you got it wrong. I'm going to give you a few seconds to self-correct. Ready or not, here I come. Ha! The earn value line is sandwiched in between the actual cost line and the plan value line. So, the topmost line is actual cost. Actual cost is greater than earn value. That means you spent more for the work you got done than you were supposed to have spent. So that means you are over budget at point Y, which is option A. And in terms of schedule, your earned value is higher than your planned value. So that means you're going to get a one point something, most likely. Or more, it depends on the scale of the graph. But earned value is greater than planned value. And that means you are ahead of schedule. So you're over budget and ahead of schedule, which is option A and option D. And I hope you enjoyed my name. Don't forget, go to www.prazion or prazion, if you will, <laughs> and sign up for our earned value management training. Now my voice has almost gone. I really need to drink some lemon, lime, and hot water. Thanks for joining me. It's your friend Charlie here. <laughs> Bye.